you. The Cleveland man accused of threatening President Obama has been denied bond. According to the Secret Service, Jonathan Smead called them saying he wanted to kill the president and Hillary Clinton. As of now, the 35-year-old has not been charged with a crime, but he remains locked up tonight. Smead will be back in court next Wednesday. Well, we looked into Smead's past to find out more about him and discovered some disturbing details. Scott Taylor is here now with what he found out. The man has a violent criminal record out of Texas, but what I found inside his bedroom is really disturbing. I'm taking you inside Jonathan Smead's bedroom in a home in Cleveland that he shares with his grandmother, Smead, just arrested for calling the Secret Service and telling them, I want to kill the president. Well, he's a good boy. He's, he's not a bad person. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with him. Smead admits he made the call, and sources tell me 16 others over 90 minutes on his grandma's cell phone. He also threatened to kill Hillary Clinton, too. He admitted later to the Secret Service he was drinking and didn't know why he made the call. Plus, he didn't want to hurt either the president or Clinton. Smead, who just moved to Cleveland from Texas, has a long criminal record. In Texas, he was convicted of making terrorist threats, multiple DUIs, and thefts, plus assault and bodily injury of a public servant. His grandmother says he's fascinated with presidential assassinations. This is Jonathan's room. As you can see, he does have books that detail the assassination of President Kennedy. Family members tell me Smead would often say he's bipolar or suffered from split personalities. On his Facebook, he lists his professional skills as two Ruger handguns, assassination of two presidents, and sniper rifles. It is crazy, you know. I mean, anybody that threatened the president has got, got to have a problem. The Cleveland police did have a run-in with this man last month when he called a crisis intervention line threatening to kill himself. Scott Taylor, Cleveland 19.